Now, uh, when we talk about uh, change, uh, we've got technology change. To be both an organic and mechanistic, managers implement an ambidextrous approach. What does that mean? It means that your structure and management processes that will push innovation, uh, you need to look into creative departments that will expand capabilities, explore, the develop new ideas, and that's on an organic structure. And you need to start to use departments to exploit capabilities, routine applications of new ideas. And that's a mechanistic structure. So if you're a, in your company, whether you're mechani uh, mechanistic or organic, it is always good to consider how can technology make you more innovative, make you more organic, make your mechanistic more organized or more mechanicized. So that's the uh, idea of uh, technology change. Techniques for encouraging technology change. You can switch structure. Do you guys know what you mean by switch structure? So if we want to uh, encourage... from mechanic to organic? Yeah. Or maybe you want to, uh, maybe uh, instead of your organization flat, make it more horizontal. Is that we've changed from mechanistic to organic? Just like this? Yeah, it's not easy to move from. Uh, maybe, maybe let's say, let's say if you are a mechanistic company, maybe you start to have a department that's more organic. If you are an organic company, maybe you decide to do one department that's more mechanistic. Okay, just maybe to increase efficiencies. Because remember, in a mechanistic, you focus on efficiencies. Yeah. And uh, on an organic, you focus how you can be more effective in what you do, you see. So maybe you want to you know, get some of here or some of here. You know, that kind of help, you see. Yes, to get the value. Yeah, to get the value of the other side. Maybe you want to create a creative department. Some companies, they have a creative director. Anyone have heard of a creative director position? Some companies have something called creative director. Venture teams. Sometimes in your company you want to have a team. Your job is to think like a small company inside our company. Why? In order to come up with new ideas. Does it come under the research and development? That's a good example. Research and development teams. The, the, I mean the creative director. Uh, corporate entrepreneurship. Do you guys know what's a corporate entrepreneurship? That's when you promote the entrepreneurial spirit inside your company. You want everyone in your company to be entrepreneur by themselves. Like uh, Google. Yeah, we talked about Google last time. They do, uh, inside Google, they tell you 20% of your time, let's say if you work 10 hours, five, two hours, you do whatever you want to work on a new project. This way people can think like entrepreneurs. Okay. We also have collaborative teams. Collaborative teams, they collaboration for innovation. So what we are trying to do here in this class is that we want you to be an entrepreneur uh, in our LIU organization as an example of change, okay? So instead of you come to the class like the other students, you come at uh, 12.30 and you leave at uh, you know 1.30 like everyone else, no. <laughs> We want you to be more entrepreneurial. We want you to be creative, and we want you to do activities outside class. So everyone, you think about a project that you will do on campus, okay? You wanna do it after Maghreb, you wanna do it at seven o'clock, you decide. But the idea is that we wanna see how can we make some activities that will uh, initiate change on campus. Uh, did you guys get the ideas of what you want to do or not yet? If you have an idea, raise your hand. 